Hey guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss and compare some some if and some ifs function. Here we have a table in which we have different sale amounts by sale of different products to different customers that belong to different countries. This table we are going to use in this tutorial. The first function that we need to discuss here is sum function. This simple function is used to sum or add values from a, a range of values or from more than one range of values. As here we have this range of values, suppose we want to find some of these values using some function. So we will we need to bring our selection on cell in which we want to find some of these values. And then the first simple and easy method to find some of these values is to go to home tab. In home tab, we have here option auto sum. When I will click on this option, you will see here this will select this range automatically and it will give here equal sign sum function and inside parenthesis. This has, this has been selected this complete range When I will press enter this will give us some of these values the next method is also same again we will go to home tab in auto sum option auto along auto sum option we have here small drop down arrow When I will click on this arrow we have here option sum when I will click on this sum option this will give us same result When I will press enter this will give us some of these values the third way to find sum is to use short key for this sum function short key for this function this sum function is to use alt and equal sign key at same time so i will press alt plus equal and you will see this has been selected this complete range of values and then i will press enter this will give us some of these values fourth way to find sum function is to simply use sum function by manually writing this function equal sum open parenthesis and then select this range close parenthesis and this is some of these values so this was sum of one range of values let's say we want to find out sum of two range of values so i will just copy this range of values i will paste it here and now we have one and two range of values let's say now we want to find out sum of these two or these both range of values what we will do we will use equal sign sum function and then open parenthesis we will select first range of values comma second range of values close parenthesis enter so this is sum of these both range of values the next function that we need to discuss is sum if function this function is also used to sum values from a range of values but with one exception or with one specific criteria let's say from this table we want to find out sale amounts but just for our customer Toshiba so here we have one exception that is Toshiba customer Toshiba so how we will find out sales made to our customer Toshiba using some if function so we will write here some if function open parenthesis the first thing that we need to provide here is the range in which we have our criteria as our criteria is our customer and this is list of our customer to whom we have been made sales so we have been selected this as a range so insert comma next thing is criteria as our criteria is Toshiba that is our customer so we will select cell in which we have Toshiba or otherwise we can simply write Toshiba manually uh, inside inverted commas so Toshiba and then again insert comma sum range so this is the range that we want to make sum so we will close bracket press enter and this is total sales that we have been made to our customer Toshiba Next function that we need to discuss here is sum ifs function. Sum ifs function is also used to sum or add values from a range of values but with more than one criteria or with more than one exception. Let's say from this example or from this table we want to find out sales made to our customer Toshiba but this time not total sales to our customer Toshiba just for this one item speaker. So in this case we have two criteria. First criteria is Toshiba and second criteria is item sold that is speaker. So how we can find out sales for these both criteria. So let's use here some ifs function and then sum range. So we will select here this range as we want to find some of this range. So we will select this complete range insert comma next thing criteria range one. As we said our first criteria is customer that is Toshiba. So we will select here this range of customers to which we have been made sales again insert comma criteria range 1 as our first criteria is Toshiba so we will select cell in which we have our first criteria that is Toshiba 
again insert comma here criteria range 2 as we said our cri second criteria is item sold that is speaker so we will select here this complete range in which we have items sold again insert comma and criteria 2 that is speaker we will select this cell in which we have our second criteria close bracket press enter and here this is total sales that we have been made to our customer Toshiba just for item that speaker so friends that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon button also share this knowledge with your friends if you don't understand anything regarding this tutorial please comment in below section i will answer all of your questions and at last thanks for watching bye bye